Greetings and welcome to David's Way Cooking. Today, it's a very sad day. Psych! It's an anti-sad day because we are going to make something delicious today. But first, I have to present our sponsor. They are called Osterian of Jämtland, which basically translates to the cheesery of Jämtland. And they make halloumi cheese. Plus, they do workshops in cheese making. So if you're interested to do a workshop and learn how to make your own cheese, please contact them. The info is below. They are based in Östersund in Jämtland, which is a county in Sweden, which is pretty much in the Midwest of the country. We're gonna make two dishes today. And we'll start with a delicious halloumi burger. But first, I have to make a reference because it's so much fun. This is Argento and this is Scotto. And if you know what that reference is, please write in the comments below. So, we're gonna start with one of the two dishes. Number one, we're gonna make a delicious halloumi burger. And on that halloumi burger, we're gonna make a super quick and delicious tomato relish. So let's start with that. First, we take our tomatoes. And it doesn't really matter what type of tomatoes you use. You only have to make sure that they are good and delicious. So I'm just gonna finally chop these tomatoes. Pretty much mincing them. Always remove this piece because it's not good to eat at all. That's the tomatoes. We're gonna have a little bit of onion as well. Rather finely chopped. And when you have a chili, there is a little trick to removing the seeds easily. Just rub it like this and then just remove let's see if i have to remove a little bit more and the seeds will just shake out of the chili easy i'm just gonna take a little piece of chili and this is a mild chili so don't worry We're just gonna rock chop this. And we have our finely chopped tomatoes, our finely chopped onions, and a little bit of green chili. You can use whatever chili you want. Have some red here. If you'd like that, put that in. But we're gonna add a little bit of honey to balance out the acidity of both the tomatoes and a little bit of white wine vinegar. And of course, do not forget the seasoning. Tomatoes love salt, so be quite generous with the salt. And a tiny bit of oil, just to bring it together a bit. Mm. That is absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna start with toasting the bread. And I'm gonna toast the bread on a medium heat for two main reasons. First of all, the crispiness and deliciousness. Second of all, it helps to create a barrier for the moisture to not soak into the bun itself. So we have our brioche bun on a dry heat. And the reason why I use dry heat is because it's my personal preference. You could use some butter or some oil, doesn't really matter. But I prefer dry heat because I think it kind of gets that not greasy toastiness that I personally like. Perfect. Perfect. And remember, this halloumi is an artisanal product. It's just not 
the regular supermarket halloumi that you get is generally very very salty and extremely squeaky in the teeth this however is an artisanal product and it's creamy and not that salty so you actually have to add a little bit of seasoning to it a little bit of oil and this is a cow milks halloumi so let's get this party started Golden brown and delicious. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And um, now I'm just gonna let them heat through on residual heat and I'm gonna start with some iceberg lettuce on the bun. And then we are going to put two of these slices on those beautiful babies oh yeah like so and then we're gonna get some tomato relish on there done so this is a brioche burger with double halloumi tomato relish and iceberg lettuce delicious all right after that delicious burger, we're gonna make a super duper simple halloumi salad. So, let's start with a green Granny Smith apple. And I'm just gonna julienne this. So, julienne is kind of a matchstick. And it's traditionally French, and it doesn't matter what name it has. What matters is that it's matchsticks of apple in this recipe. So I'm gonna use maybe a quarter to a half an apple. Because we want that crispiness, which in a textural meaning will give a lot of nice contrast to the gooey cheese and second of all it will give some acidity as well so here we have our rocket and we're gonna scatter our pieces of apple around here and while this rests it doesn't need to rest i just have to fry up the halloumi so i'm gonna fry up the halloumi Right, so we're just gonna make sure that we get some color all around the pieces. Oh, yeah! Like so. Oh, look at that delicious crispiness! Oh, yeah! All right, let's plate this. I mean, look at that. Nothing beats that golden, delicious crispiness. Like so. And we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of vinaigrette. And this is just lemon juice, olive oil, water, salt and pepper. Very standard vinaigrette when it comes to professional kitchens. Like so. Bon appetit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is our simple, delicious halloumi salad. Takes literally five minutes to put together if you're a little bit prepared. So, enjoy. And also, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.